Hi guys, my name is Anastasia and I am 2016 match applicant. I'm here today to share with you all sorts of things, tips, secrets and advices about how to become a medical resident in the US. Medical residency is three to five and sometimes six years of training in the hospital with the attending physician. Why do you need this training? Why would you think to come to US and get the training? Regardless whether or not you have some experience in your home country, you have to get a board certificate to practice in the US. And that's why you need this medical residency. Who put you in charge? And who the hell are you anyway? I'm the doctor. Now, I want to talk to you, my international medical graduates. Me, myself, I am international medical graduate, and I know how things work. I've passed my steps, I've got my certificate, and then right now I'm awaiting for the results of 2016 match. And I'm here to share with you my personal experience, because I know how all these things work. Trust in me, just. Guys, let me, uh, let me ask you, is it worth to come here and actually spend years to prepare for exams and go through this tedious process of, of applying to medical residency? Yes! 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 Let me tell you about the benefits of being a doctor in the U.S. First of all, you are going to be rich. Right? Actually, seriously, um, medicine in the U.S. is very well paid as well as very well equipped. And physicians are very updated every single day working in a hospital. And second, you know, it's always very beneficial to travel around. In fact, if you go to other countries and compare your experience with some others, you will see the diversity. And it's always good for open-minded people like we are, right? Okay, guys, let me tell you who is eligible for medical residency. Uh, medical residency. Um, despite everything that other people might say about all this process, all you need actually is complete your medical school. In fact, once you've got your medical school diploma, you're good to go. How long does the medical residency training program last, you will ask? Well, it depends on the specialty and it lasts from three uh, to six years. Internal medicine, family medicine, as well as pediatrics lasts around three years. If you want to become a pathologist or a psychiatrist, or you want to pursue your career in obstetrics and gynecology, you actually need four years of training. And finally, if you're in surgery, well, here we go, it's five to six years of training. So, if you're wondering how long your working hours will be, then, well, be ready for it most 80 hours per week. And you can count on at least three weeks of vacation per year. Before applying to medical residency in the U.S., you should make sure that you have the following documents. You should have the results of step one and step two clinical knowledge exams. You have to have step two clinical skill exam passed and you need at least three letters of recommendation, a personal statement and a verified medical school diploma. U S M L E. USMLE. Guys, don't be so scared. It's just United States medical license examination. I will tell you in details about those steps further in this blog, but let me tell you briefly right now. Step one is the basic science exam. So 
It's everything that you've learned in your first half of your medical school. Step two, clinical knowledge exam. It's everything that you've learned in your second half of your medical school when you had clinical rotations. Now, step two, clinical skill exam. Basically, it's a simulated exam that tests your clinical approach when you see a patient. You also need at least three letters of recommendation, and those should be written by the professors or attending physicians who oversaw your work during clinical rotations or research and can give you some good recommendations, obviously. Oh, John? John sucks! <laughs> He's the dumbest person I know. Do not hire John. I'd be like, why did he list you as a reference? That's how dumb John is! Now, lastly, you need a personal statement. So, what is personal statement? It's a short essay that basically expresses your interests, your achievements, and your motivation in the specialty that you're applying to. Remember that you write a personal statement per specialty, and you submit it to all the programs that you want to. However, you never, ever mention a program name in the personal statement since all the programs are going to receive the same personal statement within a specialty. Here's where I pretend like your school's my first and only choice. You're my safety school, but I'm not going to say that. The main position, uh, positions in the uh, residency program are called categorical, which basically means that the medical residency program takes people from medical school right away and fill up those positions. However, some specialties are more competitive and they have something called preliminary positions. So it's basically one year of a training in the hospital together with medical residents uh, from categorical positions. But this year you have to prove to a program director and to other faculty members that you are well qualified to apply for next year for categorical positions. Guys, thank you so much for watching me. Please subscribe to my video blog on Parseed and stay tuned because next time I'm going to talk about the application process for USMLE exam. So, see you soon.